Hi everyone, it's Dutch Reefer here and welcome to a new episode of Reef Keeping 101. Today I don't really have a very specific subject for you, so in this video I will be showing you some of the detail macro shots of uh, various corals in this nano reef tank. So if you're into that, keep watching. If you don't, then maybe next time. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, dig right into it because of course this uh, this tank is my uh, my coral tank and uh, it has a lot of beautiful differently colored coral inside. I thought it would be nice to uh, to show you some of the uh, uh, the corals uh, close up. Maybe tell you something about it. Um, and otherwise, just uh, you can just mute it and uh, keep watching if you if you don't uh, like the explanation. Uh, so it's still early morning, um, about 11 a.m. now, 11:30. Uh, so everything is not fully expanded yet, uh, but uh, enough for me to uh, to show you around. So let's start off with this uh, caliendrum. Uh, so this might look like a uh, Pocilopora, uh, but it's it's uh, the most definitely a caliandrum. You can see that when uh, the, the the polyps aren't really extending that much, um, but maybe you can see it on first glance. It's a bit of a different or a difficult uh, uh, distinction to make when the when the polyps are fully extended, but on a bare skeleton you'll you'll see it straight away. So as you can see, the polyps are nice and wavy in the current. There's not too much current in this uh, nano reef. I did that on purpose. Um, the corals don't need a lot of current. It needs to keep moving, uh, but it doesn't need to be blown away. I don't have a lot of SPS in this tank. This is one of the pieces. There are some more near the top, which we will uh, get to later. Uh, but I'm very glad that uh, I got this little caliandrum. It's um, it, it has grown from a very small uh, frag, so it has actually branched out quite a lot already. Uh, I even had to uh, break it in half and, uh, and remove a piece, but then again it just kept growing. And I, uh, first it was somewhere near the top, close to this uh, Montipora that you can see on the right, the orange Montipora. Uh, but it started to entangle with that. If you've seen one of my previous videos, you might have seen that. So I decided to move it here. And now it has ample uh, growing space. Let me show you from the side as well. So there's enough room for it to uh, to keep growing out into the uh, the tank. So another coral that I wanted to uh, to show you today is this uh, chalice right here. I got a lot of comments and questions about this. Yes, this is a chalice. Um, the colors are, uh, yeah, pretty amazing. Um, somehow there is uh, there is both light blue and red in this chalice. And as you can see, towards the edges of the coral, um, it grows in two different uh, colors as well. So on the right, you see more of the blue and on the left, you see more of the red. And yeah, I love to see how this coral develops over time what it will turn out to uh, to look like, if it will be more blue or more red. I hope the blue will keep going strong. Um, luckily, there are some hints of blue on the left side as well, so I'm hopeful that it will uh, uh, regain some blue on the left as well. But at least on the right, you can see, clearly see that there's blue edges as well, so I'm uh, pretty hopeful. And I'm really glad that I uh, got this uh, piece. Of course, zoanthus are always a nice thing to look at. They are each individual flowers of their own. Uh, there's so many colors out there that it's almost impossible to list them all. I don't know all their names. Everybody always likes to call uh, zoanthus uh, names. I know some of them, um, but I won't uh, bore you with those uh, uh, facts or even though not really facts if people just came up with names so let's just enjoy the colors as they are green purple orange blue all these colors are here and that's what i really like about zoanthus just the fact that you can stack them together closed and then uh, just create a wonderful colorful garden out here um yeah and it, it's also very uh 
easy to grow these corals. On the other hand, it's also very easy to uh, to lose them sometimes. Uh, it's a mystery, a mystery how they sometimes just disappear into nothing, uh, apparently. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's uh, something that can happen. If that happens, I can recommend checking them for uh, pests. You can have spiders, Montipora eating spiders, or oh, sorry, Zoanthus eating spiders. Um, yeah, and if you have those, then uh, then that's not too good. It's very hard to get rid of them. Uh, but uh, yeah, Zoanthus is one of my favorite colors, corals because of their colors. And also one that I cannot skip is this Ricordea uh, that I've had for uh, a couple of years already. I think three years by now. Uh, it hasn't shared or split. Uh, it hasn't split up in those three years, so it's still this one Ricordea. Uh, I hope that one day it will, uh, because it's one of the most beautifully colored ones that I've uh, ever come across. Very glad that I uh, got to uh, to buy this one. <clears throat> the, the the details are uh, simply uh, amazing. Um, they look like any other Ricordea. Uh, but just the the amount of color in this one, the the goldish yellow orange is something that I can really uh, appreciate. Of course, when you compare them to these, these are also very beautiful. To be fair, I like the pattern on these green ones even more. Uh, so despite that there are very beautiful colors, like for example this orange one, uh, I think the patterns on these uh, these green ones. And I'll show you an orange one on the left as well in a minute. Uh, this is also simply amazing, something that nature came up with somehow, logically uh, ordering these colors in kind of seemingly spacious uh, or space-like patterns, uh, which is uh, amazing. I'll show you the other one as well. So this is the same, or it's actually a different pattern, but more in orange. Yeah, and just this green edge around it and the fact that it goes from light to dark in the middle is something that I, uh, yeah, it's just beautiful to watch these corals and see them uh, see them go, grow and uh, eventually uh, split. A fun fact, you can actually see that this one is developing two new mouths in the middle, uh, which is a sign that it will split in three eventually, so that's a very good sign. Uh, this Ricordea right here, in a matter of time, there will be three of them with each their own individual mouth. And that's yeah one of the first tells that you have when uh, when you see this, then you know that it's going to split eventually. It can take weeks, it can take months, but it will. Same goes for this one up here. Also has two mouths, it's already further in the process of splitting. Uh, yeah, which is something uh, wonderful to uh, to watch. And the next one is this uh, Min Maxi anemone. I've actually had to look up how to pronounce anemone, since I uh, I'm always afraid that I pronounce it in the wrong way. I hope I'm doing it right now. Um, this uh, Min Maxi Min Max anemone is um, mainly purple. As you can see it has green edges and also some green specks in the middle. And normally my porcelain crab is uh, in the middle of this. It's now on the edge. If you look closely on the right top edge, you can see one of its paws. Uh, it's, uh, it's hiding behind the, the coral at, at the moment. Then there's this uh, very small dendrophilia. Uh, this is an NPS coral, so this coral actually doesn't use light to uh, to grow but uh, uh, uses the uh, the stuff inside your water to uh, to grow and to uh, to propagate and this is a uh, yeah very cute small little polyp I've had this for quite a while it's been extending beautifully uh, ever since I got it so I guess it's it's happy where it is right now but yeah, really uh, glad to see that this little fella is uh, is doing well. 
And one that I cannot simply ignore is this huge elegance coral. Actually, it's pretty small as it is. It, it's, the skeleton is about this size and I want to, uh, it, it grows even larger when it's fully expanded during the day. Really a huge coral with really beautiful details since that's what this video is about. I'll, uh, I'll zoom in or at least focus on the uh, the pattern. So elegance corals have long tentacles, but they also have a very beautiful oil-like surface, uh, which, uh, yeah, it, it's mainly a, a hint of green. Uh, you can find various different color variations, but most of them look kind of like this. Some have purple tips, some have pink tips. Um, and yeah, I think this is just also one of the one of the most amazing corals, polyp expansion wise, that you can find. Um, it's hard to find corals that are more, that expand more than this elegance coral. Since the skeleton is only a couple of centimeters wide, the fact that it reaches 20 to 30 centimeters sometimes in, uh, in polyp expansion is just uh, simply, uh, yeah, amazing. So yeah, really happy with this one. And I think it's really happy with the position where it's in right now. So a little bit in the corner, not a lot of flow, but enough flow. Actually, it's already reaching upward to the pump, but there's still ample space for it to, uh, to keep growing and keep expanding. So uh, there's that. And I see that we're already passing the 12 minute mark. So I won't make this video much longer. One more. I wanted to show you right here. These are also two of the corals that I really like. Also mushroom type corals. As you can see, I have quite a lot of mushroom type corals in my tank. I really like those uh, because of their uh, out of this world patterns. As you can see with this one as well. It's like each mushroom has its little mushrooms on top and it just looks amazing. And then this green one. Uh, not pattern wise but as you can see there's all kind of little lumps on the top and it just looks cool when uh, when zooming out a little bit so yeah those are the the, the, the close-up shots that I wanted to uh, to show you today I hope you enjoyed this video a bit of a calm one maybe uh, next time uh, I'll try to come up with a, uh, a, a perhaps more interesting subject I hope you like it if you do uh, please consider uh, to like this video. If you don't, feel free to dislike it. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, uh, feel free to do so. Uh, that helps me in growing the channel. And for now, thank you very much for watching and uh, see you later. Stay safe. Bye-bye.